me see here. What the hell? Oh. Had to make another video real quick. Matt, say hi. Hey there. <laughs> That's Matt. That's a trainee. Um, look, I thought of something. Look, uh, I, we watched that last video, and me and Matt got to talking, and uh, I, I thought everything that we just talked about should go in a video as well. You know, so I'll go ahead and put it in a video. Look, <clears throat> um, this is for trainees, prospective trainees, right? Um, something that a lot of trainees need to know, right? It, 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 it is something I need to make a video about. Look, when you're getting on a trainer's truck, like, you need to understand a couple of things. One, which should be kind of obvious, is, like, this is this is my house like I fucking live here you know this is my fucking domicile I don't live at my house in Texas anymore this is my home it's like a goddamn apartment basically right so when you come on you're coming onto a trainer's truck you're coming into their fucking house you know what I'm saying they've got their own thing they got their own rules they got their own stuff you know what I mean this isn't this truck isn't set up you know, this isn't just a work truck and it's set up so like, okay, here's your half of the truck and you can put all your shit in here, you know, and make yourself at home and just set everything up the way you want and I'll have this side over here. That's not how it works. You, when you get your truck, you fucking set it up however the fuck you want. If you want to have dirty windows and dirty mirrors and you want to have a bunch of fucking naked ladies hanging off the fucking walls, however the fuck you want to do it, that's totally up to you. How you want to have dirty clothes and straps and fucking bungees all over the floor in here and shit? Hey, you go ahead and do you. But that's not how my truck's going to be. So when you get on a trainer's truck, you, you got to understand that's their fucking home. You know what I mean? That bunk up there, that's all you. I don't have any of my shit up there and I'm not going to put any of my shit up there. Like that's your space. Whatever you can fucking fit on that top bunk, you go ahead. I don't give a shit what it is. You know what I mean? But, you know, there's that. And, like, when you get onto a trainer's truck, um, fuck. I lost my fucking train of thought. I thought I forgot what I was going to say next, but I know what I was going to say after that, which is, um, <laughs> This is always a big fucking thing when people go through training at a trucking company. And it's, you know... Yeah, when you get on the trainer's truck, you're going to be running all these miles for them. And they're just going to be hanging out while you drive and shit like that. And they're making all kinds of money off you and stuff like that. And it's like... Look, your trainer doesn't fucking owe you anything but free showers and the knowledge of how to do this job. You know, that's it. He doesn't owe you any fucking money. He doesn't have to buy you groceries. doesn't have to buy you food. You know what I'm saying? Like, me, I'm an easygoing guy. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to be giving you any fucking money on a regular basis, but if you're broke and you need to fucking eat, I'm not going to let you fucking starve. You know, that's just me. But don't expect me to be, you know, I'm the nice guy. You're cool and shit like that. Like, I'll buy you a meal here and there. You know, I bought homeboy dinner because he fucking drove 1,500 miles in two days for me. Or three days or whatever. We put in a hardcore weekend. But it, it's not to be expected from your trainer. That's just from the goodness of my heart. There's no fucking rule whatsoever as far as me being a trainer that says I'm required to do any of that shit. You know? And a lot of these, like, these dudes... You know, trainers, trainees need to understand that, look, I mean, you may not get along with your trainer, your trainer may not get along with you, he may be a fucking asshole, whatever. You know, look, if you've got legitimate complaints against your trainer, if he's not doing his fucking job as a trainer, you need to call the company and you need to talk to them about it. Because that's not what they want. They want you to be trained on how to work for them. You know, they want you to be trained on how to be a good truck driver, whatever, you know, but if it's like, he's just a fucking dick, you know, I don't like this about him, he smells, whatever the fuck, look, if you can, take it up with him, but at the end of the day, um, the company, I was telling him this, the company has got the trainers back, right, we've been working here longer, we're training people for them, they want to keep their fucking trainers, you know, and you're just some guy, some, or some chick that they just hired, 
and if you're causing all kinds of problems, the company's going to take the trainer's side, you know, and one thing that Matt brought up is, you know, when, uh, when a trainee gets onto a trainer's truck, um, what was, what were you saying earlier? No. About a trainee getting on, on a trainer's truck? You gotta respect the environment. Right, well, fucking, anyways, you know, it's, you know, when a trainee gets on a trainer's truck, like, you shouldn't expect all, like, you should just expect the knowledge, like, to be, uh, educated on how to do the job, Right? Because, look, if you get on the truck and you cause a whole bunch of problems and conflict and you don't like being told what to do and I'm driving the truck just fine and you don't fucking tell me how to drive a shit like that, I'm going to tell the company that you're causing problems. Guess what the company's going to do? They're going to fucking have my back. And if you're really causing problems, the company will tell me, they will authorize me to leave your ass at the nearest fucking truck stop. Because by law, I believe, we're required to leave you at a place... That's not in the middle of fucking nowhere. But I could leave you at a fucking gas station if I needed to. And they would authorize me to fucking do so. You know? And they would, at that point, terminate your fucking employment and make you find your own fucking way home. And that could be in fucking Seattle, Washington, and you live in Florida. That's your fucking problem. You cause problems for your trainer and your company. And they don't, they're just like, you know what? Stop. Let's stop wasting our fucking time with this guy. Drop him off. Work, work you back to the yard, you get another trainee who wants to fucking work and wants to drive for this company, wants to be a fucking productive employee, you know? Um, so you got to understand that. Like, look, anybody who started out as a trainee in trucking, you're going to have to put in your fucking time with a trainer. Sometimes it's cool. It was cool for me. It's cool for this guy because I'm awesome. He's an asshole. But it fucking, it's going to suck sometimes. <laughs> You're going to get stuck with fucking assholes. I've heard a lot of bullshit about it on the fucking internet. But at the end of the day, like, it's what you have to do, you know? Um, you just get through it and fucking go get your own truck, you know? But, you, you look, you, as, you know, as far as motherfuckers getting on a truck thinking like, no, I already know how to drive a truck, bro. No, you don't need to tell me anything, bro. I already know what I'm doing. Look, the company that you decided to fucking work for, they decided that you need to be with a trainer for a week, two weeks, a month, whatever. Right? If you fucking feel like you've already got this down pat, you need to take it up with them. Because they're the ones who put you on my truck. Right? Now, as far as all the money that I make, have, like running a trainee because I make money off of my miles... And I make money off of the mileage that the trainee drives. Doubles my pay. That's the incentive that I get for training someone. Right? I don't owe you any of that fucking money. You get paid your fucking daily trainee pay that you agreed to when you came to work here. I don't owe you any of that money. We have to have an incentive as trainers to do all this shit. Because if it, the money wasn't there, I wouldn't fucking be a trainer. I would just keep doing my solo thing and enjoying sleeping in a truck that's not moving and hanging out, fucking watching TV and playing Xbox, my resets. I wouldn't be, you know, doing all this shit if the money wasn't a good incentive. So, you know, you just, we all need the company, the trainee, the trainer, all need to just come to an just agreement. Just, you know, this is, we're all going to just do our fucking jobs that we've said that we're going to do and just fucking do it. You know what I mean? And just don't don't come here causing all kinds of fucking problems, because if like especially don't don't get on my truck or really I would advise don't get on any other trainer's truck if you if you're kind of a hard headed person and no one's gonna tell you what to do and you know all that shit because the company's got my back and I, they tell you they've told me at day one you know if I've got problems with somebody they're off my fucking truck this is my truck. And on my truck is my fucking rules, you know? And if you're going to cause problems, you're fucking out. If you're not doing your job, you're fucking out, you know? If you're, look, I'll go easy on you the first couple of days, but if you're like, I'm tired, I don't want to drive, you know, I drove six hours, like, the company expects you to drive your full clock. That's what they want. If you can't do that, you're not, you're not doing the job that you're going to do when you're fucking solo. If you can't drive that fucking 11 hours a day, it doesn't fucking matter if we're on a 400-mile load or a 700-mile load. 
and you know I could drive half you could drive half it doesn't fucking matter they want you to drive the most you can to get your experience you know and if you can't do your job they don't want you fucking working here so you need to keep that in mind before you're gonna jump on a fucking trainer's truck thinking like you could just I'm gonna say and do whatever I want and fucking you know nobody can tell me like you know I'm gonna you know it's not how it fucking works right this is my fucking truck and on my truck it's my fucking rules and the company understands that and they're gonna have my back on it any other trainer you fucking get with so don't think you're gonna give them a bunch of fucking bullshit just keep your head down and just get it fucking done with and get out you know by the time you fucking blink it's over you know that four weeks goes by so fucking fast you won't believe it I think that's all I was gonna say about that I think that's all I got anything you want to add no as a trainee is there anything you want to add as a trainee from the trainees perspective you gotta put in your dues don't expect you know, the world to be handed to you. Um, you're gonna have to drive a lot. Speak louder, they can't hear you. You're gonna have to drive a lot, you gotta put in your dues. Um, it's not that bad. You're sharing a truck with somebody. Thomas is a cool guy, so it works out well. Even if you got an asshole or someone that you didn't get along with, it's not forever. You just gotta remember that you're starting at the bottom. So like he said about the pay, don't get upset about that. You're starting at the bottom. You're new to this company, you're nothing to them. And they're in it to make money, so you can't get upset working for someone else and getting trained. You're getting free experience out of your work. And if you ever think you know it all, you should hang up the keys. <laughs> yeah. Nobody fucking knows it all out here. That's why there's still owner 20, 30, these assholes, these owner-operators, these old-timers you get on the fucking radio. They're all up and down the interstate talking about how much fucking... I've oh, been yeah. on the road... God damn it, I've been on the road for 25 fucking years. You know what? You got all these goddamn steering wheel holders out of here. Lo and behold, those are the motherfuckers getting inspected at the way stations. Lo and behold, those are the motherfuckers rolling trucks and getting into fucking accidents and shit, you know? Like, you know, because they think they fucking know it all and they're cruising down the road fucking, you know, that's a whole other topic, but I'm just saying fucking, you know, everybody, you know, there is no such thing as fucking rookies and experience, you know? Like, there's guys who've been driving for three months that have it down. There's motherfuckers who've been driving for 20 years that don't know what the fuck they're doing when they're on the road or in a parking lot. But that's all I'm going to say right now about that. Any other questions on the subject, throw them down there, you know? I could tell you, I could answer most of the questions you got about the trainee, trainer truck experience. So, uh, alright, that's it. That's all I'm gonna say tonight, so I'm done. Say goodbye, Matt! Later, guys! <laughs>